Hello, Leo, and welcome to your mid-September 2021 reading. I'm going to look in the sun, moon, and rising signs of the Leo Collective. So thank you so much for being here. Remember, this is a general reading, which means it will not resonate with everyone. <laughs> I will do my best to try to resonate with as many people as possible, but if it doesn't resonate with you, it just means I may not be picking up on your specific energy at this time. Also, remember the energies can be reversed, so assign the roles as you please, and if it doesn't resonate with you, please stick around because there may be something in it that you need to hear because these messages are timeless. So if you're brought to this reading in this channel, there's something in it for you. During this reading, the angels are bringing the Holy Fire Reiki energy to you. I am doing personal readings, so if you would like to set one up, there is a link in the description box down below. If you like this reading or entertain in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. This way you get notified as soon as I post something new. If you're looking for the actual September reading, which was the overall energy for the month of September, it is right here in the link above. And let's go ahead and get started. At the end of this video will be the all signs reading that I just did. So I always have suggested videos at the end of the video. So if you don't know what to watch, don't worry, I got you covered. And not only that, but I just did the essential oils, crystals, the theme, and the releasing of the trapped emotions for the Leo Collective. This video is in the link above me. And you can go ahead and check that out as well. All right, guys, let's get started. I want to thank all the people who've subscribed to my channel and helped me get to 2,000 subscribers. I'm so excited about that. I'm going for a goal of 3,000, so if you want to help me out for that, great. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you for checking out my channel. If you watched a whole bunch of my videos, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you just clicked on links to see what I got going on down there in the description box, I appreciate that as well. Anybody who's given me a donation or got a reading for me, that is so amazing. Thank you, thank you. I'm appreciative of all my Leos. I have lots of Leos on this channel. Um, you guys were the ones that helped me get to actually 2,000. I mean, there were so many of you that subscribed. I just have a ton of Leos. So thank you for coming back and checking out my channel. There's a bunch of people you can watch, so I'm so appreciative. All right, guys. We're going to do a five-car spread. One, two, All right, the overall energy for you is the Page of Cups with the Death card upside down. That's awesome. All right, guys, so let's check this out. So this is for, I forgot to tell you, the first thing we're going to do is money and career, and then after that, we're going to do love. So it's all in the same video this time. So the first thing we're going to focus on is in your career and your money. What is going on? The overall energy for that is the Page of Cups, which is good news. And you're just enjoying life right now when it comes to your career and money. You have good money and you're dreaming about what you want to do and you're following your intuition and you're just feeling really good about it. This death card means that you have just transformed something. So some of you guys have changed careers. Some of you guys have moved in a different direction totally. Some of you guys have had issues in your career. And then because of that issue, you've learned something about yourself and about the people that you were working with. Uh, some kind of transformation has happened and that the good thing is it's not happening this month. It means that it already happened. And because of that, you're enjoying your life now. You're like Saturn is shining all down on you and giving you some blessings and just loving you all up and down. Right. All right. If you hear any banging, I got kids upstairs playing. So there's really no other time for me to do videos. <laughs> OK, so what's going on with you now? Okay, so right now, you are in the energy of not being so defensive, where before, I guess during the transformation, maybe you had some experiences that made you feel defensive or on guard, and um, working really hard and just kind of putting your head down and saying, and putting those sticks in the ground, but it had to do with some communication that came in, that you started to recognize some things, and you started to kind of maybe change your life about, you know, some things, and like, hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. So there was a transformation that happened because of some communication right here and you standing your ground. And you don't have to be that way anymore. You're not defensive. You're actually pretty chill. That's good. And you're, you're, you're feeling a lot better about what happened, okay? Now, the next step in your career and money is it's time to be in the planning stage. In the planning stage, we start to say, okay, so what did I learn about my career and money last month, last couple of weeks? What are some takeaways? What are some things that I can take away from that experience? And where do I want to move forward with that? 
So maybe you have learned a lot of things recently this year about, um, cause some of you guys have learned a different career aspect that I think that you wanted to do. Some of you guys have learned a new career skill and because of that, you're kind of looking at life a little bit differently and saying, how can I incorporate what I learned into my now job? Or maybe I want to move more in that direction instead of the job that I'm doing. It's really about looking into your crystal ball and seeing what your future holds. Letting go of one stick, moving on to the next. This transformation or this thing that you went through really helped you to see things differently. And now you're looking through a different lens. Because if you look through this crystal ball, what's gonna happen is you're gonna see life differently. If you hold it up to your face and you look out into the distance or into the world through a crystal ball, it looks way different than if you don't have it in front of your face. What is the obstacle in your way? Is that you don't have all of the details yet. You're not feeling as sociable as you felt before. And maybe your feelings are kind of all over the place when it comes to this, because you don't know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> you don't exactly, it hasn't really like, the, maybe the full moon will help you with that because that will illuminate the things that you need or what you ha can't see because I feel like you're spending too much time processing this instead of just following your heart and your intuition and just going for it, right? Um, and maybe you're not able to control your feelings around it or maybe you don't feel that other people are being sympathetic or empathetic to you about your move and about what you want to do. And so it's making you not really want to talk to people about your dreams. You know, maybe you're just kind of being a little bit more quiet about it. So it's definitely my, a hard heartedness about what's going on opposed to this more lighthearted, undefensive. So you're not defensive, but I don't think that you're getting the support that you thought that you would get. You know, you're not really getting that partnership that you've been looking for. Something like that is standing in the way. And maybe when you go to plan right here, maybe you can do some writing work around these feelings right here so we don't manifest that and instead we'll manifest what, we, what we're looking for. Okay, so what is the strength that is helping you? Now you're able to connect into your higher self a lot better than you had in the past. So you've had some soul growth. You've had some spiritual growth. That is why the transformation, that's what happened during the transformation is it made you grow a lot more. Um, and maybe you were a little bit defensive because it created some feelings around it. So for instance, sometimes when I teach the Reiki class, there are some people who have profound experiences energetically. Um, some people, it takes a while the energy in the Reiki class is very personal. So as soon as you sign up for a Reiki class with me, the angels and guides are already working with you. And once you get the downloads, there's four of them that are, there's two downloads and then there's two meditations of release. Once you do those, then what happens is it grows and it grows and it grows, especially if you're doing Reiki on yourself daily, then you're continually getting that. And I've had people who have had major breakthroughs. And because of that, that would be a transformation. So I'm giving you kind of an example so you know what I'm talking about. So because of that, they felt all the love during that career, because that's a career. A lot of people make money and they make a career out of Reiki. So they felt all the love in this new career advancement type of thing that they were doing. They transformed themselves. They were able to let go, let their defenses down finally, you know, and the Reiki energy will do that, help you to let your defenses down. And then they started to plan more for the future, but maybe they didn't get to su the support of, of everyone else around them. So then they started to kind of give up a little bit. Well, the thing is, though, that, that the, the higher self and your guides are still working on your energy right? For whatever transformation happened, the guides are still working under the scenes, behind the curtain. You can't see them. You don't know what's happening, but it's happening and it's changing your life. So that is a strength that there's a lot happening. You did a lot. So when they do the Reiki class, they have this, these downloads happen and maybe you're doing meditations that you're downloading stuff. Maybe you're getting downloads just from the universe. So a lot of times people will get them during the new moon or during the full moons and the new moons and the 
solar flares and all all of the these things that happen with the planets will get downloaded. So maybe you got a download that's going to move you forward and to something else and to something better. It's all working behind the scenes. The next thing that has to do with your money is the future outcome is it's going to move really, really fast. So if you felt stuck, don't worry you're going to be moving into a better energy. This is also Cancerian energy. doesn't mean that you're Cancer, but it means that you're going to be super intuitive. And Cancer is all about intuition, following your heart, following your dreams, following your happiness. And you've heard it a million times that if you follow your dreams and follow your happiness, your money will come. So for you, that's kind of what is happening here. It seems like a, the transformation happened and now we're starting to solidify. Now we're really starting to figure out where do we wanna go from this? Do we wanna make money this way? Um, do we have the support that we need? You do from the higher realm. Do you have it on the 3D world? And once you start to make those decisions, it's all gonna start to manifest really fast. It's like boom, 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 boom. Wow, that was really beautiful, Leo. <laughs> All right, so let's check out and see what's happening with your love now that we know what's going on in career. All right. So it sounds really exciting. If you guys had a career change or some sort of new thing that you learned in, in your career or with your money, can you just share that in the comments down below? I'd love to hear what's going on. Sounds pretty cool. I had one Leo in my Reiki class. Well, two. I had two Leos in my Reiki class. And I know that both of them had profound experiences when it came to soul growth. So I'm excited for you. Whatever you guys are doing, it's really good in line with your soul self and your soul purpose. I love that. All right, let's see. So let's talk about love now. What's going on in Leo's love life? All right, Leo the lovers. <laughs> The overall energy for you is there's a feeling of holding on or uh, a feeling of cl being closed off um, or protecting yourself for some reason. It has to do with some truths that you want to share with someone. Maybe you haven't been fully open and fully honest about what you want to say and about what you've been feeling and what you've been seeing. So uh, there's definitely some intuition that has happened and see the person's holding their heart right there. They're holding that heart chakra and their, their feet are firm on the ground. They're not moving, they're stuck, you know? And it has to do with these truths. So this is the overall energy of the love that's happening mid-September on. So we have some truths that need to be spoken. Some things that you've learned logically about relationships and about love and about um, leaving some things behind and taking the things that really do serve you a lot more but being a little bit more protective this time of your heart, um, a little bit more protective of your energy. Let's see what happened. Okay, so you now, wow, well, you're feeling really good. You, you got an amazing card for how you feel about your relationship and about your love, so you're feeling really good about someone. <laughs> you're feeling really, like, free in your mind. Whether you've connected with that person or not, there's something bringing some fiery, passionate energy. Um, yeah, and it seems like it's the world. So whatever it is, you figured something out that made you feel like love is possible. You figured something out that made you feel like you can be loved. And it's almost like you got an epiphany about someone or something that made you go... I think I can actually have that. You're feeling like deserving. So even though you're protective and you've left something and you're picking up your lessons that you learned and moving on, it's not a protection of I can never love again. It's more like this heart belongs to someone else. This heart doesn't belong to the person I left. I'm going to protect this because the person I'm going to is a person that would protect it as well. I'm going to cherish my love and cherish who I am because um, it's valued by someone else. Wow, that's really awesome. Okay, the, um, the next step for you is this equal give and take. So you've realized in your relationship 
somebody gave more than the other. And I have a feeling that you gave too much in the relationship and you're looking for a relationship that is equal give and take. And this person who has your heart, not the one that you left, but this person who has your heart. And I feel like this person is more, I wouldn't say emotional, but they know they're more intuitive and they're more connected in with their emotions than this other person who's just logical. You know, they're just like, they have no, they don't let you get close. That's just not who they are. So you left this and then now you're with this person who is more heart centered and you're realizing like that's how you live life is through your heart. That's how you communicate is through your heart. So you're not going to give your heart to the sword that you left anymore. No, 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 no. This is mine. I'm going to hold on to this. I'm going to put it in a beautiful case with a key that only goes to this other person that knows how to treat me right with this equal give and take. And you've realized that there are people in the world that equal give and take. That there are people in the world that know how to be in a relationship with people. And they don't just take, 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 use and abuse and throw you away when they're done. So the obstacle in your way is that you can't move forward just yet. And it's kind of tearing you apart because you're like, oh my gosh, I just want this. I just want this. I know I can have it. Um, I've been shown, so maybe intuitively you've been shown. Maybe God showed you in a dream. Uh, maybe you just one day had an epiphany like, oh my gosh. And you want to move forward so badly. And even though you've left this, whether it's energetically or actually physically, something is keeping you stuck and not able to move forward. These cups, even though they're spilling over and they're pretty much gone and they're pretty much done with and you're done with it, something still keeping you there to where it's hard for you to move forward. Maybe this full moon will help you with that. The full moon in Pisces, maybe you'll get the ambition or maybe you'll get the clarity or maybe you'll get the healing that you need so that you can finally move on from this other person that's kind of got you stuck in the sand. They got you stuck in the desert or the sand or whatever. They have you stuck somewhere and you're feeling like you can't move on. All right, what is the strength that is helping you? is the fact that you're dreaming about this new person. <laughs> so this, this dreaming and this happiness this person brings you helps you to realize that it's, it's available on the planet, like it's here. I guess before that you were in the relationship that you were in and you were thinking to yourself, this is, what this is what love is? This is what life is? Oh my gosh. I guess. I mean, when how, how much longer till I'm not here anymore? You know what I mean? Like thinking like, I don't want to kill myself, but this sucks. You know, <laughs> like, like this is not cool. But then this other person came in that showed you the world and you thought, oh my gosh, have I been snaked by this other person who fooled me with their, I don't know, their cows and their birds. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But now this dreaming of this other person and dreaming about this other thing that you can have and dreaming that that you can have like the intimacy and the connection and the sex and all of that stuff like you know that it's possible. It's just not with this person. You know that it is because God told you something and God spoke in your heart in some way, Leo, that made you go, oh my gosh, that's going to happen. And you're like, I don't know how it's going to happen. It doesn't make sense to me on this logical 3D level. But I saw it in the 5D level. I saw it. Whether you went to a medium and they told you, whether you went to um, a quantum healing technique session where you had been hypnotized and then they, you talked to your higher self and your higher self told you, somehow you figured it out that you're going to be with this person. And this person and you are going to be very happy and it's exactly what you wanted and now that makes you want to live for life now you're like i live i'm living for my happiness that i will have one day i don't care what i see today it doesn't matter i don't care because i know one day i'm going to have that happiness because something showed you whether it was in a dream you found out somehow that you're going to be with this person and at first it was like denial like no there's no way and then there was no doubting it. Something made you go, no, there's no, I, I'm going to be with that person. I know it. I already know it. 
maybe a loved one and spirit came to you in a dream. Um, maybe some, something happened and made you go, oh my gosh. That, that experience with that person that you had was not just a fluke. It wasn't just the past or something that happened. There was an experience that happened or something big and you realized that that was for a purpose and the purpose was for your happiness. The purpose was for your healing. It was for your soul growth. It was for you to heal whatever you needed to heal on this planet so that you can be in this happiness in this future. Something happened and made, that's your strength is the fact that you continue to dream. You continue to see it. You continue to feel it and you know it's there. And so that will keep you motivated and moving forward and ambitious to continue to do what you're doing so that you can eventually get out of whatever you're in and move into whatever it is that you want. The next thing is what is your future outcome when it comes to love? That your swords and your pain will no longer hurt you. Whatever work you're doing here, those are the same swords that you're taking with you because that's yours, that's yours. And this is what I brought into the relationship. You can have your crappy pain here. I'm leaving it there. This is what I brought. This is my brokenness that I brought. I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to take care of it the way I need to. But what's going to happen is, is eventually, because this happiness is going to keep you focused and tunnel vision to your new love, to your new way of being, to your new relationship, to your newness, it's going to keep you so focused in that way that you're going to heal, 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 heal. You're just going to keep focusing on the light. I'm looking at the light. I'm looking at their light. Maybe they're shining a light for you and you're looking at their light and you're just moving in that direction until one day those swords will no longer hurt you. The sword, the pain, will, it's, won't, won't be there anymore. It'll be gone because you're working. You're working on it. This, you're not moving forward for a reason. You're not done healing. You're not getting to the equal give and take in the world yet because you're still working. So yeah, this person has you maybe physically there, physically chained, maybe not chained, but you know, they have you physically stuck somehow, okay? And you're like, well, shoot, I can't go anywhere. Well, guess what you can do while you're waiting? <laughs> you can heal. And let that person mirror all the crap to you let their crappy attitude mirror to you so that you can know what to heal. Okay, I got to work on that. You know what I mean? They told me I'm messy. Okay, I got to work on that. You know what I mean? Or they told me I'm worthless. Okay, well, I'm not worthless, but I do need to work on that vibration because for some reason that person's mirroring that to me. And so it must mean that I have that vibration with inside of me. So whatever that person throws at you, that's what you need to work on. You just write it down. The person throws at you that you're worthless. Okay, great. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to work on my fact that I feel undervalued. I feel worthless. If they take advantage of you, you go, great. I'm going to work on how I feel taken for granted. I need to work on those things so that you can finally come to the person in the way that you would like to. So I want to look at this um, outcome real quickly, Leo, and see where we're going. I want just a little bit more about the outcome, and then I'm going to pull some love cards so we can see what the person's thinking about you. So to keep you focused in on the light and not the darkness, okay? Uh, darkness is just a vibration, and so is light. Uh, so just kind of keep that in line. Okay, I just a whole story here. This is beautiful. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh, it was upside down. Okay, I'm trying to do this in order. So really, here's, here's the story they showed me. You're having a lot of anxiety and sleepless nights. You are up, walking around, pacing the floor. Um, just you're not able to sleep when it comes to what is going on in your life. This love that you want so badly and you don't have it yet. It has made you hermit, but hermit in a way where you follow the light. So you're now focusing away from those that this other um, person who didn't treat you well, you're, you're actually turned your back on them. So see, look right here. Here's the two swords. This is the person that you're leaving. But this person looks here for a second just to make sure that person's still there. <laughs> but really, they're focusing on this new direction. They're focusing towards, they're focusing towards the, they're focusing towards the world. So here, this person is the world. This is the light that's shining. See that? And that you're hermiting inside so you can get rid of this pain so you can move forward. So this energy will lighten up and you're leaving this two of swords. Okay. 
Here it is again, showing me that you're focusing in on the light. Somebody is shining their talent. They're being open and, and loud and proud, you know, and you're like, oh my gosh, that's what I need to do. I need to follow. I need to go to this person. So you're moving towards this person who's shining the light. Hi, it's right here. I'm shining the light for you. So come for me. All right. Um, and then what that's going to do is show you all of the illusions that you've been living in for so long. The illusions around your self-worth, the, the illusions that you have around love, and you're going to judge your life and look at your life and say, oh my gosh, I put myself in some horrible positions because of these limiting beliefs that I've had about the world. It's going to throw you into a tower moment. But what that's going to do is that tower moment is going to be so beneficial for you because you're no longer going to be pessimistic about love. You're no longer going to be looking at the glass half empty. You're going to start seeing things a whole lot differently because this person has shown them to you. And I know that we've had this energy before, Leo, but this is just another layer. It's more. More is happening. More is releasing so that you can become more. You're going to become the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles is my favorite king. He's very generous. He's very visionary. He plans well. So you're going to get rid of all that negativity and move to resolving some conflicts. Being able to do that well without being so emotional about it and so negative. Um, and you're going to be more secure in life and, and feel supported. And um, you're going to feel like life is reliable and that your hard work has paid off. You're going to be planning a more generous and, and beautiful future. So the king, this king is beautiful because he has the pentacles that he needs. He's very, he's very logical as well. But look at all of the fruition. So this is an abundant king. He's very, very abundant and he's very generous with his abundance. So something to think about, Leo, that is gorgeous. Let's pull some cards that have to do with what they're thinking about you so you can have an idea and stay focused in on the light and not the darkness, okay? Okay, so this person is saying, I'm burning with passion for you. Oh, wow, that's good. That's what you're feeling. You're feeling the passion. They're feeling the passion you have for them and you're feeling the passion they have for you. You are my dream come true. I'm shocked at your existence. And they're probably shocked that they didn't ever do anything with you before. You know, that's like sometimes happens too. You are the answer to my whole life. And your words keep ringing in my head. So that is beautiful way that they're looking at you. And let's see where you're at on this romance cycle. Because it feels like to me you want to be with this person like today. <laughs> you want to talk to them today. You wanted to start opening up a relationship with someone today. You're ready for that. Um, and there's some healing that's happening. This is beautiful. Let's see. All right, Leo. Okay, so there's some codependency you're working on. Um, there's definitely some chemistry in this new love, this true love. You have a soulmate coming in. Um, and it's about getting to know each other again. So you could very well be manifesting this person in quicker with some communication that you've been thinking about. So this is person thinking about communication that they want to have with someone. So we are what you're working on in the tower moment is codependency that you had with this other person, those two swords, that other person you're leaving. There's codependency issues that you need to work on. This new person that you're thinking of, this person who's shining the light for you, you have lots of chemistry with this person on both sides, not just one-sided. It's a very both-sided chemistry. It's true love, definitely soulmate connection. And... Um, you're going to be getting to know this person all over again. And I think you're really excited about that. Like you really want to know what's been going on in this person's life. Who are you? Let's get to know each other. I mean, I know you a little bit, but I really want to know you. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, guys. So if you like this video or entertain in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We'll be doing the Mercury retrograde very soon. And we have a full moon in Pisces next week. So I'm looking forward to seeing you in that video. If you want to watch the All Signs reading, it's right here on the screen. So go ahead and click it and you guys have a great day. Bye.